Hey everybody, what if today you lost your job, your reputation, your network within cybersecurity, what would you do? Well, if it was me, uh, I would not panic, I would rebuild. Because, you know, starting over is not the same as starting from uh, scratch. And that's exactly the sort of mindset that you should have. Because I will be honest with you, the job market is shifting beneath our feet right now. Things like layoffs, AI, autonomous agents, all of them are redefining what it means to be working in cybersecurity, you know. GRC is turning into code. The SOC is being redefined. So all of these things are coming into play and the line between cybersecurity and AI is getting more and more blurred. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what I would do if I had to start my cybersecurity career from scratch. You know, no job title, no fancy title, no network, what I would do. So, so if you're new to the channel, my name is Tamur Lal, And in this channel, we talk about things like AI security, cloud security and cybersecurity career advice. So please do like and subscribe to this channel and let's get started. Okay, so what am I talking about here? Like I said, how I would build my cybersecurity career from zero in the AI era. I mean, using AI as an empowering agent and not something like which is uh, like a, a in competition with me. Well, the first 30 days, it would not be about doing certifications and, you know, chasing job ads. I would have to retool my foundation because, you know, the like I said, the job market is very different in 2025 than it was like, even three years ago, I would say 2022, definitely different from like 10 years ago. The fundamentals are very, very different. You can't just say like, I know incident response or I know network security anymore. These are like the baseline, right? You need to understand things like cloud AI risks as one like interconnected system because they're all connected. So the foundation is very different. I need you to reset your mindset and think about that. The, the world is changing no matter whether you like it or not as you can see with all the news you know how ai is taking away tech jobs the baseline of the tech jobs companies are laying off people do i agree with that absolutely not i do not think that ai should be an excuse for people to start laying off people but it is the reality right it is what it is unfortunately there will be a time when this thing will plateau and the job market will shift back to people as companies will realize that they cannot do everything with AI and this will you know bounce back don't worry but for the time being this is unfortunately the job market that we are living in so the first thing is if I was starting from scratch I would relearn the modern foundation what is the modern foundation for cyber security it is things like cloud AI and risk I would like uh, spend some time I would choose a cloud sandbox like AWS Azure and I would learn how to secure AI workloads. You know, what are the new risks that are being introduced by LLMs, things like prompt injection, model leakage, data poisoning. What are the frameworks I need to take a look at, like the OS top 10 for large language models, maybe the NIST AI risk management framework, ISO 42001. So these are the things I would focus on to like as the fundamental, as the learning point, as the starting point from where I would start. And then I would also at the same time start building a micro project portfolio not a big project not something which takes me like six months to deploy it something which takes me one month i can quickly build it up quickly build it using vibe coding quickly building using at ai and then deploy it right a simple ai application in aws maybe i can add im based guardrails a compliance as code policy you know that checks encryption settings in terraform maybe document a mini ai threat model for a chatbot i talked about it last week about AI threat modeling, but these are the things I would do quickly, fast, fast, you know? So these are the things I would focus on at least for the first 30 days, immediately retooling my mindset, focusing on what the baseline is and start documenting it. Now the phase two, this was phase one, phase two would be rebuilding. So now I have reset my foundation, okay? I've understood now I need to quickly in the next 30 days, turn my efforts into visibility and momentum. This is like I've seen where most people fail when I coach people, they keep learning, they're learning continuously, but they never show what they're learning. So how will people know if you are learning in silent, nobody is going to find out what you have learned, right? You need to show. So you need to prove, you know, what you have learned. If you've learned AI security, AI red teaming, cloud security, AWS guardrails, Azure policies, whatever, unless you show people, how will anybody know that you know what you have known, unless maybe they get a hold of your CV, which will get lost in 5,000 other CVs. So please, this is what you need to understand. First of all, when it comes to learning, I would use ChatGPT and Claude as my personal accelerators. You know, AI is very, very good at this. AI as a learning 
assistant i think it is one of the most powerful technologies when it, either when it comes to generating tailored resumes practicing mock interviews using like things like copilot to automate documentation and compliance all of these things are very very powerful so please make ai a part of your daily toolkit when it comes to writing resumes interviews uh, using for your documentation and compliance and at the same time i would start building my linkedin brand whatever i am doing all those micro projects i talked about i would be sharing them on linkedin i would putting a thread explaining what i know for my ai security how i build my projects i would maybe make a short video like the one you're watching on youtube how what grc engineering means maybe tiktok it does not matter just put it out there that shows I'm not just looking for jobs. I am somebody who is actively sharing my knowledge. You don't need, like I said, people think, oh, I do, just have five people following me on YouTube or LinkedIn. You don't need 10,000 people to be following you. You just need the right people noticing you, okay? And, okay, so th th this is the next 30 days. Now, I'm not like completely dense about the fact that if you don't have a job, you also need money, money to be coming in, right? That's very, very important. So I would start freelancing. I would start like maybe go on Fiverr, go on Upwork or reach out to people, reach out to people on LinkedIn, especially those AI consultancies, AI small firms. I would offer, I would show them my micro project portfolio. I would say, hey man, I'm interested in like working for you. Do you have any projects? So, you know, offer to review an open source project, security posture, volunteer to document AI security best practices for a startup, take a small Upwork gig. Many, many gigs are there. Every project, even if you're not getting money, but it's building up your track record, right? And you're getting, you're building up things within the marketplace. So please start doing this also. I have an ebook you can check in the description for how to monetize your cybersecurity knowledge because of course I totally get it. If you're looking for a job, the pressure will be there to start, you know, having that income coming in. So you that, that is what I would focus on within the next 30 days. Now last, now this is like the last 30 days. By now, I have a good foundation uh, I have good visibility. Now it's time to reposition. I need to think about where the market is going. Forget where the market was three years ago. Forget what used to be like 10 years ago, 20 years ago, the good old days. Stop. You know, people cry about, oh, the cyber security used to be so much fun, blah, blah, blah. It does not matter now. The reality is the market has changed, right? The titles that will dominate the next five years, they, they don't even exist in most HR systems yet. You know, things like the AI security engineer, which where you're securing AI pipelines, models, the GRC engineer, I've talked about this, who automates compliance, the AI threat modeler. These are the post AI cybersecurity jobs and they combine technical depth with strategic oversight. They are immune to the types of automation that are happening. But you might be thinking, hey, if they are not in HR systems, where do I find them? How do I find them? Well, this is where, first of all, I would rewrite my profile. And my headlines around the value I bring. So I would not say cyber security analyst on LinkedIn. I would write AI security engineer in progress. I won't say I used to be a GRC engineer. I would say automating compliance as code for AI systems. I would be focusing on the areas where AI is creating gaps. While 5,000, 10,000 other people are applying for the same SOC jobs, for the same pen testing jobs, I would be targeting the niche. The, those areas where few people are there. How would I be doing that? I would apply strategically. I would not be blasting 200 resumes. You can still do that. But then you would be lost among like the 200 other people. I would target every day. Every day, more and more startups are coming up, which are AI focused. You know, everybody is jumping on the AI bandwagon. I would not wait for them to post jobs. I would target 10 companies that are seriously doing AI work in my location, like in the UK, in the UAE, in India, USA, whatever, you know, cloud providers, startups, consultancy, and I would craft custom outreach messages, customized messages based on the company profile, target the CRO, the CIO, who knows what the company is doing from a technical perspective. I would not focus on the AI, HR people. I would focus, I would show them how I can secure their systems. Remember that because the world is changing, right? It's no longer about defending networks, doing pest testing, SOC. It's about defending reasoning systems, the logic behind AI agents and models. The next, your next job could be with the, the next hot AI startup, but you need to, like I said, follow this role model, which I'm telling you, this path, which I'm telling you. First, resetting your foundation, understanding what the fundamentals are, rebuilding, you know, uh, like uh, getting that knowledge and then building in public and then repositioning yourself and applying strategically. 
to the companies that will give you this sort of job, especially AI consultancies, startups. These are the areas where you'll find those niche jobs. Not that company, not that bank, which has like 10,000 people applying on LinkedIn. You need to reach out, reach out strategically. Do not send the same generic message. Hi, my name is XYZ. Uh, do you have any job for me? Please, th th everybody ignores those messages. Nobody's going to take you seriously. Do some research on the company. Find those small, small AI consultancies, startups, and then do some research and then, you know, apply strategically like 10 companies per day. And while you are building up your profile, building up your knowledge and, you know, you can keep on applying and doing your certifications. But this is what I would do for 90 days. So this is where like I want to close really. Remember that rebuilding your cyber security career in the AI, it's not about chasing what you've lost. Forget what is done is done, but it's about designing what comes next. You know, every 90 days, I, li I like to say that the industry is reinventing itself because of how fast it's changing. And the people who will thrive, these are the ones who can reinvent themselves every 90 days. You don't have to completely rebuild everything, but just think about your mindset. Think about how to rebuild yourself and think about where you should be applying instead of just chasing that same job which 10,000 other people are applying for also. So I hope this was useful to you and good luck to you if you are in this boat and you're trying to rebuild your career. I wish you all the best. Please do like and subscribe to this channel. Check out my Cybersecurity AI and Career Academy. I'll link it below. I've made it specifically for these sort of skills which are going to be very, very valuable in the market and not about things like certifications. Okay, I thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.